yeah, so last night I, uh, you know, I cut my beard off pretty much. This is the first time my beard has been this short probably in like two years, three years. So I'm probably not going to show it. No, I'm just kidding. I'll show it to you guys. I'm not going to leave you hanging like that. This is what I look like with not a clean shave, but the shortest you will see in my beard. And the reason why I did this is kind of because it was like an accident and also like kind of is good for your facial hair to just cut it off once in a while and let it regrow. This is what I look like with a very, very short beard, which you guys are not really used to seeing me with. I just woke up, by the way, I'm really tired. I look like a little, I look so ugly without facial hair. I hate it. I, I mean, I'm ugly regardless. I go from like an ugly six to like an ugly 15. I'm gonna try to hold the camera at the most complimenting angles today. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a fantastic sa Monday. It's Monday for you guys. It's Sunday for me. It's Monday for you guys. Hope everybody's having a great start to the week. Let's try to make some goals for the week. Let's start waking up early and finishing our day stronger. You know what I'm saying? I usually start editing like at 1 or 2 a.m. My new goal is to start editing by the latest 11 p.m. Yeah, and I want to start waking up no later than 9 a.m. every single day. Today, it was like the test run. and I woke up at 9.45, I believe, and I actually forced myself out of bed. So I've been up for the past hour. I'm actually going to probably go get some breakfast at the Grove. Go check out those new 13 lows because even though I am trying to control my sneaker urges and my spontaneous crazy hypies purchases, I really, really like these 13 lows. A lot of other YouTubers have been, you know, selling their entire collection. Apparently, Fomer Simpson's doing it, Hess Kicks is doing it, a few other guys are doing it, a few other guys have given their opinion on those that topic. I'm not going to sit here and have a whole long talk about it. I mean, respect to each one of them for what they're doing. I understand both of their sides and I think it's dope for them to, you know, start clean and do it for whatever their respected reason was. So my person, myself, I would never be able to sell my entire sneaker collection. Watching their videos did kind of like make me think, do I really need sneakers to the ceiling? You know what I'm saying? There's sneakers down here that don't even have places to fit in here. So I'm going to condense my collection to a little bit smaller than it is like these right here like why did I buy these you know I was in New Orleans the hype got to me I gotta control myself man don't worry I'm not selling the whole thing that's not that's not what I'm doing regardless if I put that in the title or not that's not what I'm doing okay now I look like crap I'm gonna wake myself up and hopefully I look a little better in the next scene ready oh shoot we here Control yourself, no NMDs, you don't need it. I don't know how, but I uh, controlled myself. So there's a Ross right here by the Grove, literally. I've never been here, but I'm gonna go look what they have, because as you guys know, with Rosses and like Marshalls and all those types of stores that are like, end up having like some crazy steals. Like they found fragments at Marshalls, which I still don't know if it's true or not, but. Bruh, bruh. Ooh, they got the roll front Adidas right here. Bread fives right here. Fear of Aloha Vans right here. Wow. Tiffany Tuesdays. Fly knit or is this prime knit? This is crazy. The 3-1 lead curries right here. As you guys can see, they have fire here, but I'm gonna control myself, guys. I really need to control myself. Yeah. Alright guys, so I actually passed on the city socks because they kind of hurt low key. There's like those two thingies, the bricks, the pods, whatever they're called on the bottom. Makes it really stiff and they were kind of uncomfortable. So I didn't want to get them unless I was going to like be super, super comfortable in them. So I passed. That's how many sneakers did I take a L on today? How many sneakers did I pass on today? I think that was like th four. I think that's my fourth sneaker. So I'm doing pretty good. There's nothing in here. 
I need to stop eating out, man. That's one of my biggest problems when it comes to this whole diet thing is eating outside food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and get some healthy food, hopefully. Yeah, I just actually went and played basketball too at the park. It was cool, it was whatever. I might go again. I like playing indoor more because outdoor's kind of rough on my knees, but. This place is six forty nine for milk. Everything healthy is expensive. Where's the where's the candy at? Look at this. I was putting groceries away. Okay, I got all my groceries up, and I just looked at that and I was like what the hell is that and then I pressed it and I realized water a water dispenser we have water I feel like holes like they found water at the top of the mountain all right so like I said earlier I am going to try to get rid of my sneakers that I don't really wear I've just stacked up on a whole bunch of shoes and I just don't wear them and as a sneakerhead shoes are meant to be worn don't just let them sit there unless it's like an autograph sneaker like those Kobe's right there most of these shoes should be most of these shoes need to have foots inside of them you know what I'm saying let's start with this side over here right off the bat I found the pair that I need to get rid of dead stock way of weight fives I believe these are the fives right this is one that I'm gonna give away I do have a few sneakers to give away for crew kicks so this is gonna be one of the sneakers I give away these are still dead stock just love the orange boost I'm gonna keep these because orange is my favorite color remind me to wear these soon these are the EQT white mountaineerings these are the NMD white mountaineerings and I don't need both of them that would be dumb so I'm gonna keep these and I'm gonna get rid of these I really like these at first but they're just not wearable I wore them to Disneyland with this shirt and it was like yeah okay I'm at Disneyland I could pull these off but this blue cage if this was black or if it wasn't there that it would have been super dope but <sighs> I regret, I regret wearing these because it decreased the value of them, but this is a shoe that I have to get rid of. I haven't wore these yet, but these are not going anywhere. Definitely need to get rid of these. This was probably the dumbest purchase I've made all year long. $290 for these Air Force Ones that I probably will never ever wear. Tag is still on right there. I'm gonna get rid of these. Too much white, man. I know that I can buy these five years from now in the same condition for super cheap. So I'm gonna get rid of these because I don't need them right now. The ones I got in Dubai, I'm keeping those. I have two pairs of zebras if you guys didn't know. But do I really need two pairs? Like, why? This is a maybe. I'm gonna hang on to these right now. I might just save them for a crazy giveaway when we reach. 1 million subscribers or something, maybe? Zebra giveaway? This is a tough choice because this is a clean colorway, but the materials on here are sh So this crease is nasty. I swear to God, this shoe haunts me. I've bought this shoe three times, and I've sold it every single time. These are the NYC Jordan 1s. I just don't, I, I never got around to wearing these. Like, I don't, I want to keep these just because I sold them twice already. I feel bad for the shoe. This was the biggest waste of money right here. $400 for these, man. Buy to these. I told you guys I'm already getting rid of these. Either Cyber Mondays or the Ying Yangs. I think I'm gonna keep the Ying Yangs. I think I'm gonna get rid of these because I have the one that's more black on the upper. 17 pairs of shoes. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot compared to all this, but for me, it's, I feel like it's a, it's a good step. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, if you did, didn't, um, I don't know what to tell you. Make sure you guys conquer your Mondays and work hard, grind hard. I have a goal for tomorrow, and that's to wake up no later than 9 a.m., hit the gym, get ready. I got to meet with Mickey in the afternoon, and then at nighttime again. Like, a whole bunch of things are going on tomorrow. So, that's it. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys. I'm out of here. Dream crew, stand out. Westside. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right.